My next topic is spiral floor adjustment. Proper adjustment equals better crop flow, which in turn reduces recycling or recutting of the crop and also helps reduce wear on other components <clears throat> of the cutter head itself. Uh, the proper way to adjust this floor up is to take your shim packs, which you have one millimeter and a five millimeter shim. You loosen up the bolts and push the cutter or the spiral band up against the cutter head. And then you stack this area full of shims and then you take out the amount of shims that you want to uh, add gap to it. So in other words, if you want a three millimeter gap in here, uh, you would pull out three millimeters worth of shims. Um, the book calls for a two to three millimeter gap. Uh, I have, or we have found that the ideal gap is between three and five millimeter, which reduces your recutting. It allows that feed to get away from the, the cutter head quicker. Next slide, please. In this slide here, this is the back plate to the cutter head, and this is the hood right behind the cutter head itself. Uh, when you're recycling crop, especially in heavy stuff, it'll start coming up through this gap right here. Another adjustment here is on the hood. You've got two bolts here and two over on this side. You loosen them up and slide this hood up tight against the back of the cutter head. Um, probably end up with like a one to two millimeter gap in there. And then you take this rubber strap. There's several bolts across here and you push that strap up against the back plate. Um, by getting the proper shim pack in there, you reduce wear on the hood, the back plate of the cutter head. The sharpening door, this front plate here, wear plate, and also the plate on the back of the feed roll cabinet. As you see here on the table, this is what you're going to see for wear. It starts dipping it out right here, and this in here actually has started a hole in it. Next, I want to address the updated reinforced version of the spiral bands that is in the 19 and newer model year 9000 series machines. As you can see here, the more or the gussets and everything that's put in versus the old style spiral bands. These spiral bands can be retrofitted back in the pre-19 model year 8000 series machines also, but you have to remember, next slide please, that the cutter head on the 9000s are a little bit narrower due to the thicker side sheets. So if, if you put these in a pre-19 model machine, you have to get these shims also in order to fill up that gap. 